what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so as you see here on your screen yep just as soon as we thought it was coming jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers 4 has been canceled the fathom event that was supposed to happen in november is not going to be happening i have also been informed by the australia distributor rialto's i think it's pronounced I've been informed by a theater chain in Australia that they're also not going to be making their date for October 28th in Australia. So that would also mean the subsequent areas like Russia, whatever else had a release date already in set or set in stone, they're not going to be getting that movie. And it looks like that's stemming mostly from post-production taking, taking longer than they had planned or just them just not being able to make it to their dates that they had set in place because of them wanting to take their time with the post-production. Now, I know this is not news that we are excited about. The pros of this, though, would be we can hopefully rightfully assume that they're taking this they're taking their time with the post-production process. I know Jason Raymond put out an update recently on his uh, Facebook page that post-production is almost done and they're, they're getting close to being done. So from there, we'll hopefully start to see more things come out over the next coming weeks once he puts out something, hopefully, where he announces that post-production is just completely done. The other thing that is being studied from fathom event to a lot of you guys because i didn't i didn't get that response as you see here in this statement that was on the screen they're telling you that the event has been pushed into 2022 and those of you who have reached out to me those of you who have called your local theater chains and i know instantly we thought that they were trying to do a cover-up because we know like i said before the plan was for tickets to start going on sale next friday that was completely legit that was the plan the movie looks like it was going to have multiple showings throughout the month of november but because of circumstances outside of their control which i saw was also part of the messaging they're sending a lot of people on instagram the movie and the event has been canceled from its released uh schedule for 2021 and now it's being pushed into 2022 now those circumstances can of course be the post-production process taking longer than what they originally thought or it's just because they hit post-production at a later point in time than what they originally were intending to do because of everything going on and things having to be shifted and constantly moved around so i get it the other thing that i found out that was a little interesting no word yet of course if this is true or not we won't know until the movie itself comes out and we start hearing more official things but trevor gorekis who was responsible for scoring m night's new recent film old is going to be potentially doing the score for this movie so i i liked his score in old so i can't wait to see what he crafts for a movie like this i think he also worked on m night's the servant that's tv series i think m night has going on right now so i think this would be a very unique thing to hear uh i the score for jeepers creepers 3 absolutely atrocious I, I looked up that guy's resume i wasn't surprised nothing but straight straight to tv straight to video sci-fi type of movies so hopefully trevor gorekas is cooking up something hot if he is actually the one doing the score for jeepers creepers reborn but the fact of the matter is we now have no un we have an unannounced date the november 2nd date was never announced but it seems very clear that, that was the plan because if you see theater chains in your area listing jeepers creepers are born with tickets on sale just call out that local chain and tell them that you've been informed that the event was canceled and then see what they have to say as it relates to them maybe going and talking to their manager about it because a lot of the places i i, I actually saw an amc theaters was doing it in my area and i contacted them they said the same thing the event's been canceled a lot of you have been sending me screenshots on twitter about your area still selling tickets so i know that's why a lot of us thought that they were just trying to do a cover-up and that they were lying but the fact of the matter is a lot of these places and something i've never really seen done before i've, I've never seen this happen i'm sure it's happened before but i've never come across this they jumped the gun and were just putting tickets on sale already because you have to plan for these things fathom events aren't just they're not just announced and then all theaters are going to be on deck Th these certain things were already being well planned in advance screen media was the one communicating this to these theaters and to these uh to the fathom events they were the ones setting this all up and now that the movie itself is not ready to make that date things are just changing there was nothing false about that november date there was nothing false about the tickets that were being on sale at and when i say there was nothing false about it i mean that that's they weren't going on sale with that not being the plan plans have just changed 
And they found that out when Fathom Events started recently sending out a bunch of emails to the theaters telling them it's been canceled because they have now been told that theaters are selling these tickets. So they're now trying to work their way through contacting as many theaters as they can, I guess, to let them know, hey, you don't need to sell these tickets anymore because the event is canceled. And a lot of you will be getting your refunds. I know some of you probably already bought tickets. I know a couple of you have DM me telling me that you got your refund from Adam Tickets and other chains. Fandango had it listed. The the tickets were on sale in like five different states. I believe Michigan, California, Idaho, uh, Ohio, Wisconsin. They were on sale in quite a few states. But the Creeper and his return have been delayed 2022. The other thing I can say is if it's in January at any point in time, it better not be the week of January 14th because I know a lot of us, we have better plans in mind that week to see <laughs> Ghostface um, on the big screen once again, hopefully. If Paramount Plus doesn't get too if Paramount doesn't get too wild and puts the movie on Paramount Plus or something like that, because I've seen a lot of you speculating that too. But the Creeper and his rebirth, his being reborn is on the back burner now. No release plan for 2021. Like I said before, I contacted the Australian distributor as well. There's been a gentleman keeping in touch with me to let me know about if his chain was going to keep the movie or not, because I told him about the Fathom event being canceled in the States. He contacted me today to let me know that they are not going to be getting the movie on october 28th which indicates that no no area that was planned to get this film on their dates that they had locked will be getting it now because they are still heavily into finalizing post-production and there's some things that they might want to just fine tune make sure everything is all taken care of and well prepared for this relaunch of this franchise the pros of this like i said before would be that they are probably taking this more serious than how three was being taken because if we're being honest, Jeepers Creepers 3, it would have been able to make the November 2nd date. And the reason it would have been able to make it is because there was no care involved in putting out a quality film. <laughs> if we're just being honest, there was no care at all whatsoever at putting out a quality film. I don't think anyone ever put goes out of the way to purposely put out a bad movie. But I just feel like there was a rush behind Jeepers Creepers 3 so they could get away from Victor Salvo. And hopefully we'll have some more news about when the creeper will be back in 2022. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.